Welcome back to another episode of Draftbusters. This is the War Room series here on the Vendetta Sports Media YouTube channel. The other half of the Draftbusters down there in the bottom of your screen is Chickster, who's a little fired up right now. Do you want to tell the people why? All right. We're not even going to say anything this time. All right. Sounds good. Uh, all right. So you saw it in the thumbnail. We're taking over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, re signed uh, Baker Mayfield. That contract extension this offseason. I know Alex isn't a huge fan of it. I'm not really in love with it either. It's you know, it's it the thing about it's Baker Mayfield. Like, what what's his ceiling, honestly? What like if we're paying him big boy money, is he gonna be one of the big boys up in here? That's yeah. it. wow. Did it's did I just awesome. see I saw did I see Jane Daniels go first overall? That's absurd. You did. Oh wow! With JJ and McCarthy, Drake May, Drake, Drake May fell to eight. Yeah, and Vegas traded up one spot for a tackle. Okay. They need to get the they need to get the right one. I I don't hate that. I like I like Fuaga quite a bit. I uh, and it seems okay. it seems like Olu's like I don't want to say falling because falling makes it seem like he's always not going to be first round pick. He's going to be first round pick. He'll probably go in the top fifteen still, but like. He's if on a slide. You, he's, he's on, on a, a slide, slide, which is kind of weird. I think it's because of the rise of guys like Troy Fatanu and uh, Tali Seifuaga. That's kind of like making that fall a little bit. But I mean, shit. I, I've i seen mocks where he was available at 13. And that'd be a fucking steal for Las Vegas. Oh this is, this isn't a Raiders video. but Good job. Imagine. All right. Uh, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Like that. Good. No, and two well, seconds. Yeah, two seconds on bad teams is real tempting. Yeah, but we lose the first round. We don't pick till fifty-seven. I mean, that's just giving us. You're not gonna get that second. No, I'm try. I want to get picks in this draft because after one twenty-five, we don't pick again until the seventh. Well, try to get one seventy-four. Add on one seventy-four with it, or not. I well, I, I was reaching high a little bit. I was trying to shoot a little high. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was gonna keep the third and 174. That's a that's way better. All right, bye. You're man. welcome. You, you're right. Oh, all right. We're, we're we've been recording now. Hold on, let me go back to the tap. We've been recording for three minutes tonight. We're already being a little nasty. Great. We're, <laughs> God, we're, well, we're on tune for a great night of videos. I can't uh, well, wait. we'll see. All right. Can't do that one. 164. Yeah, put it on there. Oh, yeah, we're we're just ranking in. I mean, they just keep offering that shit and... <laughs> Yeah, they they want to burn those seconds real bad. We're just not we're not going to do it. We don't like either one of these. So okay, now we can pick. All right, so they need edge cornerback. Uh, all offensive line help would be beneficial. It says why. Yeah, receiver. I mean, uh, Ryan Jensen is gone off this team, and he was the center. I think you could replace him with Jackson Powers Johnson, or I I really like going Chop Robinson here as well. Robinson's a really really interesting pick for this defense. Uh... I think I don't think Baker Mayfield's the guy, but I do think if you're going to commit to a person, you gotta you gotta at least build a line around them. Um, I think we could get another edge in this class later on. Not obviously not as good as Chop Robinson, but I don't. I think the center pool is much more scarce. It's more shallow. Shallow, yeah. Get it because yeah. the. Sure. I'll be, I'll be here all night. I, right. I missed that yeah, one. I, like I missed that, that one. I like I'm not that. gonna lie. It. Because you said the the center pool, and I said it was shallow. Ah, was like a ah. Right. Jesus, that's a lot of that's a ton of picks. But a ton we, of we, we and fall down quite a bit. I mean, when's our next pick? 81? 89. 89. Uh... I don't really. I don't love either one of these. No, I'll be honest. I, I don't think I don't think it, is... plus we've already done a good job of getting some extra picks in those middle rounds. Like yeah. we we snagged two picks here as well. So we don't really need to trade back as much as we possibly can. Uh so now 
edge. We we got the center. Could get a guard, wide receiver. Uh, no edges that we're liking. I I like Neeland and Dorless a little bit. It feels a little rich for them. However, we're not gonna be able to get either one at eighty nine. I don't think. Okay. Which, you know, that kind of is what it is. I don't necessarily want to reach. Well, look at corner. Go to, go to corner. See, there's, we're not missing no guys at corner. Same thing. A little rich for KD. Again, I think, again, it's a little rich for either Carson or KD. Yeah. What about guard? What, what do we got a guard? Just kind of, just kind of looking at our options here. Not, Will. not, not a lot of good options. Uh, wide receiver. I know, I know. It says wide receiver there. There's uh, options here. There, no, there's, there's options. options. There's options. These these top three guys are really tempting. Ricky Pearsall and I, that offense would be like he like he is he would be your slot receiver mm-hmm. with Godwin and Mike Evans on the outside. Oh, and a healthy Godwin and a healthy Godwin. Yeah, which is yeah. which. I mean, when healthy, Chris Godwin's a good receiver. I mean, well, you when Mike Evans is your wide receiver one and Chris Godwin's your wide receiver two, like. That's nasty. You throw and then you imagine sprinkle in some like, Ricky. Yeah. And, and you want to talk about making Baker right. Mayfield look like good? That's our pick then. I'm, you're making Baker Mayfield look good? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Ba- Baker Mayfield is loving the first two rounds of this draft. He is in love with what we're doing. He's here. like, he's like, hell yeah, brothers. I really like this, actually. Okay. If we we pick in three picks. Nope. Do we? Yeah, we pick it. We do. Oh yeah, we can get a little nasty. I need. I'm even fine just picking up another seventh. That's fine. Just try to get as much capital as we can. Apparently, I'm a bitch. Yeah, I am a whole bitch. I mean, we're. we're I think we still take this. I do. Since we do pick in three picks, yeah, we're picking an extra couple, and I think that might fit some of the guys that we're looking at too. Their value more. And yeah. I think we we probably want to yeah. stay put here. Yeah, let's just pass on this one. All right. So if we go back to edge, like like what I was saying earlier, uh, Doralis and Neil yeah. are both gone, which is kind of a bummer. We are in range to go get someone like Kyrie Jackson, someone like Cam Hart potentially as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that might be the move, honestly. Um. I can't believe Rosengarten's still there, which is kind of surprising. Yeah, I think the move's corner here. Um, yep. Excuse me. Um, Bless you. I I think I'm fine with either Kyrie Jackson or Cam Hart. I think both both could fit in this defense pretty well. Let's get that big corner first, Kyrie Jackson. I think that I think that'll be more impactful. Might double up if that's crazy. Um, go. Let's see. So 20 picks have passed. Um, We can go corner again. Uh, I don't know how the edge. I don't know if the edge pool is there anymore for right now. I think there's some guys later on. No, I still don't love it. Jalex Hunt, I don't like at all. Javon Solomon is not bad. Is that how you say his name? I'm assuming. I have no clue, to be honest. Uh, Jonah El- Jonah Ellis is also a really tempting pick too, and I think we should. I I think we should reach for him at 125 when we pick there, because he'll still be One, on the board. 121 or 125. 125. Oh, okay. Um. So do we just double up on corner here? Is that is that the move? Is that what we're talking about here? Um. Who do they have at safety? Uh, Ant- Antoine Winfield and Jordan Whitehead. They're good and there, Win- then. Yeah, Winfield, Winfield just signed an extension, too. Okay. Yeah. So they're good there. Um, If we're not doubling up on corner here, we might be just looking at best player that we can get. Uh, I wouldn't even hate. I I don't think they address the wide receiver, or not wide receiver, but running back room. Correct me? Mm-mm, I don't think they would. Yeah, so. Uh... Mm, McKinley Jackson. I I was going Ooh. to say I think McKinley Jackson playing behind Vita Vea with you have two fat fuck freaks 
playing nose yeah. tackle is yeah. really, really tempting. Yeah, like just shoring up. Like, okay, we can't get edge, but you know what? We're gonna get we're gonna get the fucking out or the inside. Because I care I, I think this is best player available. We we can yeah. have targeted guys in our next two picks. I think we have the luxury to go best player available here, and I I, I do think it's Jackson. Ah, uh, let's roll with it. Put that fat fuck freak in there. Then we got 121 to 125. This is where we could double up on corner and then go um, Jonah Ellis. Although maybe maybe we should just go Jonah Ellis because Javon Solomon just went off the board. Yeah, we, let's we could do go that. ahead and get our guy. Yeah. Just get him now. I mean, we picking four picks. It, like, it's just kind of being cautious. Uh, I don't mind that. Uh... Sweet. Yeah, I don't hate that. I think we're fine. I think we're we, we still good. we still have a fair amount of picks here. Jesus so. Christ. Yeah, no, we, we've we've accumulated a lot of shots here in the back. Well, no, I was looking at Tennessee's picks and they're just like, Yeah, we don't want nobody anymore, actually. Yeah, they they're just they're calling it quits on the draft. Yeah. Uh okay. So now so now uh, we can go, we can go Cam Hart here. Cam Hart. I was also is Zach Zinter available? I could also get down with that too. Either one, he is available. Yeah, I th- I think I think that's mm. that's a good shout. I like that. Yeah, just to kind of help address that guard position, I do I do think he he could be pretty good. I think um, no Camara went really me? early. Did he? Yeah, he went at like one fifty to the Rams. That's usually like a good six round pick. That's that's usually kind of a safe pick for that spot, but all right. Well, we can't have them all, I guess. All right. Now let's see what we're looking at. Now we're just looking get some talent anywhere we can see it. Uh Trey's really high on he's not necessarily like super high on Javon Foster. He likes Javon Foster quite a bit though, the tackle out of Missouri. Yeah. I think that'd be interesting for kind of a depth piece. I could get down with that, honestly, because we got, you know, we and that's just kind of that's three offensive line picks. And that just basically says, hey, if you're the guy, we're going to try to protect you the best we can. Right. Uh, 174, 170. Oh, yeah, we're about to eat. And let me tell you, daddy's hungry. Oh, uh, I feel like Tyrese Knight would actually have been OK here. And he went the pick before. Um. Hmm. I don't hate grabbing a backup quarterback here. I was thinking that, but what what are our picks? What are we picks? We pick 174 and then again at 176. And then what else after that? 220. So oh yeah, I feel up. like I feel like we gotta do I, I feel like we look. Look. Joe Milton <laughs> just has the fucking like, I mean, you're talking about a flyer, but like, fuck, if you can get that dude figured out, that is nasty business. Fucking nuclear launcher attached to the right side of his body. And like, you know, it's just, you can't, you can't pass up on that opportunity, especially when you're not sure if Baker Mayfield will play up to this contract. Uh, I could see Eichenberg here. Um, if we're going to go linebacker, I'd probably go leave foul instead of leave I foul. I could like just just for like now we're kind of looking at depth um death pieces I think I think that I think that might be it I think just just grab another linebacker uh I think that I think that could be beneficial for them honestly all right as per tradition here on, on the war room series war room series we're picking the funny name George Holani would have been a great pick because I don't think we've got him yet. Well, wait, what's that one? Quack. Bethune? Ezrin? We already got Storm Duck. Yeah, I feel like one of these is the pick. Josiah Ezrim or Tatum Bethune? Mm-hmm. Or we can Let's keep go. looking. Well. Okay. I Right now I'm on Ezrim because he's from Eastern Kentucky. That's just... Okay. That's just kind of a fucking oddball shit. We'll keep that Papa in mind. Okay. 
Uh, McLaughlin, uh, Bertrand, Rosemary, Jackson. Uh, do like a big scroll and just see what we come up with. I w- hold on, I want to see something really quick. All right, you look at something. I mean, why not, right? I mean, why not? It's, yeah, it's I, I, it it kind of it breaks tradition, which is not really our thing. But I mean, shit, if you're gonna take a, if you're gonna get some running back depth, who better than to steal Frank Gore in the seventh round? Yeah, just just choose him, and you're just kind of like, eh, flyer. Frank Gore might be, he might be okay. I I mean, he might not be bad. All right, that's the class. We all right, listen. Alex and I, I, I'm not one to really like toot our own horn, but we did a really good job adding picks in the later part of this round because they're the fall off from, I think it was going from round four after to round 57. seven. Rough. Yeah. Like I think after it was what? One. After 120 something, it was like 220. It was 137 and it was just like, it just went all the way down. So it was crazy. So. Uh, we, we did fill up some, uh, dry, and I, I feel like it was real low risk, high reward kind of like, you know, we, we would drop down one pick and a one pick again, or like two picks and we got two thirds out of it for next year, which are yeah. solid picks. Like, um, the first four picks of this killed it. Absolutely killed it. Um, I, yes, I agree. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're, Jonah, they're, Jonah they're, Ellis is a really fun, uh, really fun project. To sit in mm. this edge room, Zach Zenter's good depth piece. Foster's good je- depth piece. I mean, and shit, who knows what's going to happen in the quarterback room eighteen months from now? Yeah, I think if, if Baker stinks up the place, like what? What if? What if they decide to get off that contract? They have somebody in Joe Milton sitting behind him. Yeah, and it just got to develop Joe Milton. Joe Milton's definitely a project of his own, and I think if he could develop nicely, like you're, you're looking really nice here. I think uh, Trey did the draft profile on him. I think he had a third round grade on him. He would take him in the third round. He did, yes, because I think he said that in the Slack as well. So, but he's he's also he's like the intangibles are just too hard to pass up. It which like, isn't which it is interesting, and I I was really going to point this out during the during the draft cycle. I was going to wait until afterwards. Isn't it kind of interesting that? Joe Milton and Anthony Richardson are like almost the same player. Massive arms, moves well, accuracy issues. But he wasn't very high on Anthony Richardson last year. I but now, tried, but now it's like I, oh, I pointed that out. But you, but even last year, and you can quote me on this, I wasn't very high on Anthony Richardson either. Like you were, you were very high on him. I was not it's my guy. AR's my guy. Um, and I was not. And like I I think I had Anthony I even at the end of the draft cycle, I think I still had him QB like four or five. Um and Joe Milton, even though this is a little bit more loaded draft class, like he's probably around what, six, seven for me, regardless. He, he's the quarterback I would feel most comfortable taking outside of those those top six. Yeah, like I I don't necessarily know that I want to touch Spencer Rattler. Michael Pratt might be a fine like journeyman backup type of vibe. But if you were to tell me five years from now that someone outside of the top six turned into a starter, not a a plus starter, not like, oh, they're contending for MVPs or whatever, but they're they got a starting job. It's Joe Milton. Yeah, without a doubt. And which maybe that would kind of suck, actually, because he'd be fucking 28. 29 maybe because he's, he's an yeah. older quarterback i think i want to say he's 23 that sounds about right but anyway getting back on track uh some nice projects here for them as well uh the first four are definitely going to be pieces that can i feel like can make an impact right away in, Next. A, in a division that is very much up for grabs yeah. like Ad- atlanta on paper should be the odds on favorite but we don't know what Kirk Cousins is going to look like coming off of that Achilles. So, I mean, who knows? Well, we'll see how the Fal- the Falcons do have the talent and that terrorist. Uh, Arthur, I don't know. It always makes me laugh saying that uh, Arthur Smith's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, so it 
you know, you got to think, well, I don't know how the Falcons are going to look, but they should be better if Kirk Cousins is healthy. If he's not healthy, they're fucked. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like there's a lot so, of money tied to him. Um, you know, Saints are still in there. Uh, the Panthers are not, but they shouldn't be. They should they, traded... they, they won't be for a while. Yeah. So um, I give this low B plus. Um, I would have loved one more like solid pick if we could have got one. I feel like if we got one more solid, like, yeah, this is an impactful player right away. I think that would have been the tipping point for me. But I think this is a really good draft for them, regardless. The thirds obviously help. Um, but yeah. I give it a B. I don't think I don't think I could get up to a B plus. I I think that the first three picks, slam dunk picks. They're absolutely yeah. great. I I know we talked about it being best player available for McKinley Jackson at 112. And I, I, I get it 100%. And, and I am a McKinley Jackson fan. I I just, I wonder what his playtime looks like early on in his career. Because mm-hmm. he said, like I said, he, he's sitting behind Vita Vea. Yeah. So, like, you're not, you may not get a ton of early reward out of someone like McKinley Jackson, which I think kind of brings it down a little bit for me. If we were able to get a guy who, could see the field a little bit more because the the Maybe talent the, at the position is a little bit weaker. Yeah. Then I could see it, but yeah, long term, long term, this could be this could be a stellar class. But oh yeah, um, like you you may not get a ton of rewards right away. I mean, if these projects work out, oof, that's that nasty business. That is nasty business right there. So, all right, sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think. Do you like this draft class, Buccaneers fans? If you like the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up on it. Like I said, comment down below. Share this with a friend. It helps the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed already to the Vendetta Sports Me YouTube channel, it's not too late. You can go ahead and press that button. You can go ahead and ring that bell so you don't miss any more of the War Room uploads. Trey's getting out his videos as well. Those are can't miss. You're going to want to check those out as well. We're going to see you next time.